Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Jay Giggs here with some Raid Shadow Legends, and today I want to talk about the relationship between attack and crit damage. They're, it's it's kind of a funky way they work together, unless you know how they work together, and then it's it's not really so complicated. But I think the general approach for the average player is just shoot both of those numbers up as high as you can, and that should bring you the the best damage. That should. It should yield you the best damage and that's not necessarily the case i'm not going to get super deep into the math and make this ridiculous and show you a bunch uh, of, of equations and all of these things but in its simplest form look at it like this but first head down into the description or the pinned comment of this video and check out the link for world war doe the sponsor of today's video uh, it's a great game. They just dropped a big Heroes update. I am playing it a ton. And if you want to jump in and join the Kitty Poots, we are taking over. You can also screenshot me in my Discord, which there's also a link for in the description, uh, when you hit level 3, and you'll have a chance to win some Raid Gems this month. So uh, check it out, get on it, and we'll see you there. 10 times 10 is, is 100, right? Now, you can start to separate those numbers and... And if you look at one as crit damage and one as attack, let's say 12 times eight is only 96. So if there's a discrepancy between your attack and your crit damage, even though one of them's high, higher, and it seems like it should be yielding you better damage output, sometimes lowering one and raising the other to kind of meet back in this, in this middle point is the sweet spot for it. So what I've done is I've taken Royal Huntsman and I've done a few tests with him, right? I'm gonna show you a few different variations of damage output, and the reason that I used him is because he ignores defense, there's less mitigation, there'll be less vari variety in the numbers, and we can get a better idea of what his average damage output's gonna be, so uh, hopefully you get a kick out of this one. I don't usually do this at the beginning of the video. This video was a lot of work, so uh, hit that like button. And uh, then at the end, if you like it and you want to see the other things I'm doing, then you can subscribe. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe in advance, but hit that like button because this video <laughs> was a lot of work. So um, let's, let's go ahead and, and bring up Royal Huntsman and talk about him. Again, his A3 ignores defense. So we're just going to get pure damage every time we use him. So the first thing we do is we go in and we just try to let him land a critical hit with his stats the way that they are, right? Then we do one with really high crit damage and as low attack as possible. Then we do one with as high crit damage as possible, keeping his attack low. Did I say that? We flip flop him. We take him. We try to take each one to the extreme while leaving the other alone. Then we let him meet in the middle. So this way you get to see if you're gonna scale one, which one's gonna yield more damage, and then how kind of sometimes bringing them back to a, a meeting place will even out and and raise your damage. So what we're looking at is what the overall percentage is. So what is the percentage of his attack? So 1,553 attack is 100% of his attack. So when I when I use when I say that, that's what I mean. So anything over that would be you know you know 200% of his attack would be 1,553 times two. So we when we're looking at his crit damage value, that's what we're talking about. So when we're looking for 200 crit damage and 200% attack so that they're the same value, as close to the same value as we can get them, we optimize our damage output. So let's go ahead and hop over and take a look at the footage. We'll talk about how, what we're doing in each clip and the numbers, his average damage output, and then at the end we'll come back and talk about uh, everything we've learned. For the control, for the first round, I just wanted to get his crit rate up so he'd land a crit, but I wanted to leave his stats as untouched as possible. So he is currently at 2,073 attack, which is 133% of his attack, and he's at 114% crit damage. So I just want to see what kind of damage output we get with the numbers looking like this. We're going to be running Apothecary lead because I don't want any leader skills or buffs that are going to affect his damage output. So Apothecary is going to give him the turn, allow him to use a skill. We can calculate the damage and move on. So we're going to be attacking Deathhound every time with the A3. First attack, 21,959 damage. Attack number two. Twenty-one thousand nine hundred and fifty-nine again. 
and attack number three. We're going to come in at 23,733, which is going to give us an average of 22,550 damage. For test number two, we're going high crit damage, low attack. So he's got 2,291 attack, which puts him at 147% of his base attack and 291% crit damage. So let's see what kind of damage we get here. Coming in on number one. He hit for 40,309 damage. Number two. We got 45,236. And number three. Hitting at... 45,236 gives us an average of 43,593 damage. For test number three, we're going high attack, low crit damage. So we're at 6,166 attack, which is 397% of his base attack, and he's at 147 total crit damage. So coming in for the first hit. 80,713 damage for hit number two. We're looking at 79,190. And for hit number three, we're looking at 77,667, giving us an average of 79,190 damage. For the fourth and final test, we are going with evening up the attack and crit damage while still trying to maintain a decently high level. So he's at 4,568 attack, which is 294% of his base attack. And we've got his crit damage at 296%. So they're virtually the same. We came down about 100% on attack from the last round and up about 150% crit damage from the last round. So we lost quite a bit of attack, gained a good bit of crit damage. The numbers are even. So now, let's go in and see what our damage output looks like uh, with these numbers evened up. For our first attack, he is going to hit for 86,825. For attack number two, he's going to hit for 85,016. And for our third and final attack, he is going to hit for 81,398, giving us an average output of 84,413 damage. So for a quick recap, let's look back over the test. We got test one, we read 133% of our attack, 114% crit damage. We did 22,500 damage was our average damage output, okay? This was like basically base stats, just making sure that he landed a crit. They're relatively close together, but they're both very low, 22,500, okay? Test number two, we were at 147% attack, so it barely went up. 291% crit damage, so it drastically went up. 43,593 was our average damage output. So you can see in comparison to test number three, where we shot our attack way up almost to 400%, crit damage was around 150, 79,190 average damage output. That is significantly higher. And then the fourth and final test where we had our numbers even gave us 84,413 damage average output. So if we look at all the tests together, you can see if you're, there's a few takeaways from this. One, if you're in a position where you're having to choose between attack or crit damage, seems like you would generally want to take attack. Scaling up attack, while the attack did go up higher, then the crit damage, you're gonna start to get diminishing returns from crit damage sooner than you will from attack, is, is, is what it would seem. So you can scale attack up and continue to see the results of it. Over here, we dropped our attack 100% in test four and brought the crit damage up to match it, and we ended up with more damage than when our attack was shot way up. So you see, what I'm talking about is in the, as far as diminishing returns. Scaling your crit damage way up without scaling your attack up at all isn't going to do much for you at all. You're looking at 43,000 as opposed to 22,000. Your damage didn't even fully double for a drastic amount more 
of crit damage. Well over double the crit damage and your damage output did not even double. Whereas from your from your base stats here where your attack is shot way up, crit damage is a little bit up, your damage tripled. Your damage went way, way up, right? Uh, even, even more than tripled. So scaling your attack up, even when you can't get your crit damage up, Still going to yield you pretty good damage, but then of course when we when we find that middle ground, when we bring them together uh, and, and it kind of complements the equation, that's where your sweet spot is. So there's, uh, you know, I, I don't know the exact math on like how far you could stretch this, how far you could get them away from each other before you start to get diminishing returns, and you don't have to be as specific as 294 and 296, I don't think. I think there's a reasonable range. But if you can keep them around that range and scale them together, that's ultimately going to be what is optimizing your damage output. So don't, especially don't just shoot your crit damage way up. If you're going to shoot anything up, shoot, shoot your attack up. But again, try to scale them up together. So uh, that's it for the video. This was a fun one. This was a fun project. Very involved, like I said. Um, if you enjoyed this one, let me know. I will, I will try to do more things like this moving forward. Again, if you liked it, hit the like button. This one was very time consuming, so I would appreciate that a lot. And if you want to see more of what I'm doing, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out. Um, other than that, if you have any questions, if you have any input, I'd be very interested to know your thoughts on this video in multiple facets. Do you like seeing this kind of stuff? Uh, do you have anything to add to it? Do you have any thoughts on it? Did you take, did you learn anything? I'm very interested in the feedback on this one, so definitely head down to the comments and let me know. Uh, other than that, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you have a good one, and we'll see you next time.